Thank you, baby. Thank you. Did you say, yeah, 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 yeah? Mama? Did you say, Mama? Shall we sit down and open it? Shall we read the books? Shall we read this together? What did you write for mommy? Ooh. To my super mom. From your son and mother's day. <laughs> If she's the best mom, I really sit with you because you're amazing to pick up with me. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for being my mom. Come in. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Shall we read together? Mm. Thank you for picking up with me. Thank you for your unconditional love even when I bite. <laughs> you know I'm doing it. I'm not doing it on purpose. Oh, you're not. <laughs> Thank you for everything. I love you so much. You're definitely my superhero. Alright, take three. No. Thank you. <laughs> Did you actually put this on and draw? <laughs> morning from a very sunny Bristol. I woke up this morning spontaneously wanting to vlog because we have a lot planned for the weekend. It has been amazing weather this whole week and today especially and today being a Saturday we decided that we wanted to do picnic and with Levi growing up we wanted to do something every week and we make it a point to intentionally do something every weekend for him because he's becoming a lot more aware of his surrounding and you know changes in environment and everything so we make it a point to take him out every weekend somewhere so this weekend we wanted to um, go out on a picnic take him out to the park go out on a picnic and also it's mother's day this sunday and we've got quite a few things planned this weekend so i thought it'll be nice to vlog everything and i'm going to take you along with me on that journey it's nine in the morning now and diva is just finishing up his breakfast with Lachman. Usually over the weekends, Lakshman feeds him his breakfast, lunch and dinner and sits with him. I wanted to sort out my wardrobe and get rid of all of my winter clothes and take out some spring summer clothes. I don't know what I have because when I switch my wardrobe around, I put it away in a bag, um, in you know one of those storage bags and I don't remember what I have anymore. And my wardrobe is kind of limited at the moment, so I can only wear certain amount of clothes, not all of my clothes yet. So I need to see what I have and what I can wear at the moment. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and I only have one hour. All of these things are in my bedroom and Levi still sleeps here. Yeah, I've moved the cot out so that I have space to put all of my clothes out and I can see what I need to do. Technically, I have 55 minutes left. Let's see if I can do this in 55 minutes. I really need to. It's not like it's a choice. It has to be done. Cot is out of the way and all of these things to go through. All the best. Maybe if I fold the sleeve up, it doesn't look half as bad. What do you think? Let me know if I should keep this or maybe it's time to part ways with it. 
I haven't got the heart to do it bro. I haven't worn it in a good two years. This is all I've taken out and all of these to go. Basically, I haven't touched anything much at all. I only tried that one leather coat and I've already got company now. Hello, are you going to help mommy sort out my clothes? Yeah? We seem to be very shy this morning. We're not usually shy, are we? We are very woke up. Are you going to help me fold? Nine fifteen, and I've gained myself two audience, nowhere close to sorting anything out. I need to be serious about this. I need to be open to donating clothes, getting rid of clothes that I no longer fit or no longer suits my style, and take clothes out that I want to wear now. <laughs> That's it, baby. He is more eager to sorting it out than me. He wants his room back. <laughs> It's already 10 o'clock and I clearly I have not accomplished what I wanted to do at all. I am so tired already and I'm only halfway there. We've clearly not been able to put Levi to sleep because it's 10 o'clock and I'm still here. I decided to kind of move his nap. He's on two naps at the moment and I think I want to try and transition him to one nap. I'll see how it works out because last Saturday he only took one nap in the morning and he didn't want to sleep all afternoon at all. And I feel like he can take it, you know, he's wide awake now anyway, so he's outside playing with Dutchman. We are going to try and push his nap by another hour, let him sleep longer in the afternoon and then, no, um, from 11 to maybe 1 or half 1 and then let him stay awake all afternoon, especially when we're going out to picnic and we might go out to the mall also. Um, let me show you where I am with this at the moment. The only ones I managed to get rid of was that out of this entire thing. So I'm keeping all of these things, but all of these ones I need to try on. Some of it I know I will keep for sure. Although it's not my style, it's not something that I really like, but I don't want to have I don't want to not have enough to wear. And some of it I need to try on. And these ones are all my winter clothes jumpers. And these ones were my work clothes and maternity clothes. So I didn't even bother opening it. I mean, I did open it, but I don't need to go through it at the moment. I'm just going to leave it now. I need to vacuum this out, uh, vacuum the air out, and then put that back in here. These ones are all going into storage as well. These are all my winter pajamas. Those ones are winter coat and um, handbags, which... I've not been using for three years, but I do not want to get rid of it. I'm still going to keep those things. And some of these things, now that I have extra time, I'm going to try it on and see what I want to keep. And the ones that I no longer fit into, I'm just going to get rid of it. There's really no more point in saying I'm going to lose a bit more weight before I can wear that. If I don't fit into it, it's going. That's it. I'm not going to keep it anymore. Levi has not gone to sleep. It's already 11 a.m. His normal nap time is at 10. Because we dragged it out, he was a little bit cranky. He wanted to be carried all the time, so I had to sit and play with him. He wanted both of us, in fact, not just one of my sisters. So we were both sitting and playing with him, having breakfast, having our breakfast along with him. Um, and then I folded some clothes with him as well. But because I had to spend time with him too, I couldn't finish what I wanted to and I got exhausted. I'm, yeah, I got really, really tired sorting that out. So the ones that I needed to put away are already away and up on top of the wardrobe. But the ones that I wanted to keep and I wanted to try, I didn't manage to do it. So I now have the joy of trying all of those things at the back, seeing which one I want to put back in my wardrobe and which ones I want to get rid of. I do not want to buy anything, ideally, that is my hope. I really do not want to buy anything. So hopefully I like the stuff I have and then keep some of it. Hopefully all of it, but I know for a fact that I'm not going to like everything, enjoy everything. There's no point keeping stuff that I don't want to wear and just filling up my wardrobe like that. But because I'm exhausted, I am going to go and get myself a cup of tea so I can stay awake while I'm trying all of those things.
asleep. I want to take a short break and rest. Um, slightly past 12, I sat down to watch a video and I was falling asleep while watching the YouTube video. So I slept for a while um, outside in the living room. While Levi was sleeping inside, I told Akshan to wake me, up, wake me up in 20 minutes. He let me sleep for almost an hour. He came and woke me up and then he woke Levi up. Both of us flat knocked out. All I did was sort out my wardrobe. Not even entirely, just a little bit. I just put away my winter clothes and then tried on a few of my clothes. I tried on all of the skirts, jeans, shorts and dresses. I didn't have that many dresses anyway. So I have my tops left that I need to try on. I don't know how these other YouTubers do so many things within the day. They do like entire house deep clean. They do spring cleaning for the house and their wardrobe trying clothes and stuff. I'm like, is that even real? Do they do it within a day? Do they do it over multiple days and then show it as if it's a day? I don't know. I'll never know. But it's time for me to get up now and go and feed Levi. And then pack our food so that we can go out for our picnic. We are ready for our picnic. Are you ready for our picnic? Look at him and his cute little shorts. I'll show you a proper video later. This is actually three to six months. Obviously, I kept it for the summer and it fits perfectly well. It was super loose when he had it on before. Um, and I've changed into my dungarees. I normally don't change multiple times a day at all. I just changed today because I was trying on clothes. And I found this and I fit into it really well now. So I'm wearing that and this is a mess that I'm leaving behind that I need to come back and sort. But for now, we are headed off to the picnic. Is that your plate? Oh. Yeah, that's your plate, isn't it? And your bottle? Okay. All right, let's settle you in first. I've completely lost touch going out, eating out, doing picnic and stuff. I've packed food for Levi. I completely forgot to pack a bit for him. And he's got stuff done there. <laughs> But he's enjoying his food anyway. And I forgot something else. I forgot to pack clothes for him. When it's windy, I feel a little bit chilly, but he seems to be fine though. He's, he's still warm, he's not complaining of cold or anything, but yeah. He's enjoying eating and we're gonna dig in. Thank God it's not so windy here at all, it's so much more better. This is his second time on the swing and he absolutely loves it. He's just so comfortable. I was worried initially thinking the swing is probably too big for him. You know there's a lot of room around him, he might wiggle about but yeah, he's just happy. The minute we put him in it, he's so happy.
We've come to this park many times before, but this is the first time I'm actually aware of other kids playing around, as in listening to their conversations, watching them play and everything. And I can't help wonder in a couple of years, Levi is going to be running off like them, independently playing and, you know, playing hide and seek, playing whatever else he wants to, you know, all of these things. It's so sunny and nice. It's such a British thing, I feel. When the sun is out, everyone is out. So many people out here barbecue, so many people with their pets and with their children running about cycling. And this one's definitely enjoying it. He is very sensitive to light, so he's cheering a lot. And he's has he has a bit of a runny nose because he was so windy just now. But yeah, other than that, it doesn't seem to bother him at all. Can you see? Levi holds on to Lakshman's hair as if he's holding on to a harness and he loves doing that. Where's Mrs. Bus Driver? Here she is. Where's Mr. Soldier? Here he is. He looks funny, doesn't he, with that hat? Do you want to see Mr. Soldier again? Where's Mrs. Queen? Here she is. Yes. Yeah, that's Queen. You found her. <laughs> you found her. And where are you? There you are. Is that Levi? Is that Levi? Can you see Levi? <laughs> Then, where's Mr. Puffin? <laughs> he found it! He's been enjoying this various book series quite a lot lately and I'm surprised that he's able to find each one so quickly. You know, the minute we say, where is so-and-so, he flips that thing and he finds it and he's so happy that he finds it. Levi's been quite addicted to reading. He loves reading. The minute he wakes up in the morning, the minute we say, do you want your books? Do you want to read? He's so excited. He either looks towards his bookshelf or he crawls towards the bookshelf and try and grab some books and bring it to us. So we wanted to stop by in Waterstones. We came to Crips to collect something, which I'll tell you later. That's a funny story behind behind that. But yeah, we wanted to come and um, you know bring him to Waterstones so that he can have a look at the toys and the books and stuff. And he seems to be enjoying it so far. <laughs> What are those, Levi? We are at Pandora now, waiting to pick up my Mother's Day gift. Um, it's only Saturday and I've already got my card this morning and picking up my Mother's Day gift now. I didn't choose it and I didn't ask for it. Out of all of the love languages, gift is not one of my love languages at all. I love surprises, I enjoy being surprised, but... <coughs> you okay? But it's not one of my love languages at all. Lakshman apparently wanted to surprise me. But out of the six years of married life that we've had, he's probably only surprised me once successfully. This morning, when both Lakshman and Levi were writing my Mother's Day card, I walked in on them in the living room. He wasn't prepared, obviously, and I didn't know that's what they were doing. Because I had already seen them write the card, he just gave it to me. And then he told me that he needed to stop in Cribs to pick up something that he's ordered. The minute he says that he's added something that he needs to pick up, I know what it is. So obviously I guessed what it was. And I knew it was a Pandora charm. Well, at least I don't know what kind of charm he got me. So that is a surprise. I'm just waiting to pick that up. Package collected. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all of you celebrating. Um, we are on our way to church. We were rushing a little bit this morning because... I tried to stuff Levi with a lot more breakfast than what he normally has to sustain him throughout the service until we come back home. 
yeah, but he threw up a little bit, so we had to get him changed and all of that commotion in the morning. But we're headed to church now for Sunday service. I came back home last night. I was sorting out a little bit more of my clothes and I was completely exhausted and knocked out last night. But I had such a terrible sleep. I was so paranoid about this daylight saving. Early this morning, the clocks went forward. I got so confused about it last night. I kept thinking about that. I went to bed about 10 something, couldn't sleep for such a long time. And then I finally fell asleep. And then I kept waking up from 3 o'clock in the morning, every hour checking on the alarm. When eventually my alarm went off, I just couldn't get up at all. But anyway, um, we've lost an hour this morning, but the days are going to be brighter, obviously. The days are going to be longer um, from now onwards. So that's a good thing. This is my fourth consecutive week in Ikea, but at least this time we didn't buy stuff. Liva fell asleep in the car, so Lachman is waiting with him in the car, and I came up to return it. Such a quick, nice and easy return. The service was so nice today. Um, something really sweet happened, but I'll go back home and talk to you about it, because this environment that I'm in is not a good one to speak about what I wanted to say. We stopped at a restaurant on our way back. We spotted this new place called Chawala. It's an Asian cafe. It's like um, a North Indian food cafe sort of a thing. I didn't come prepared with Levi's lunch, but I had some snacks by then. He's all of a sudden become so independent. He wants to eat on his own. The clip that you saw before this is him. Literally crying for the biscuit. He wanted to hold it by himself. He didn't want us to hold it for him. He was kind of stuffing himself with it. He wants to take more bites before he chews the one that's already in his mouth. So we were trying to be careful and to get away from him. And he started tearing and he's been prepared off late. You know, he just wants to feed himself now. But this place is kind of nice. Um, I ordered chat masala. Lakshman ordered what? Desi breakfast something. So it's a like paratha and um, Indian, you know, kind of omelette and gravy and stuff and gulab jamun. The environment here is really nice. You can see behind me, you know, the lights and the decoration and stuff. It looks really good. And the food is good as well. Um, the price is very reasonable. You need to find out how they're making this up. Go and ask them. See if they'll tell you their trade secrets. As soon as we got back home, um, it was around about 1 o'clock, almost 1 by the time we got back home. Changed into my pyjama, which is what I'm wearing now, and put Levi to sleep because he hadn't had enough sleep at all during the day. He only snoozed for half an hour in the car. Uh, and then I dozed off along with him. I normally don't sleep during the day at all, but this weekend, apparently, I needed it. So I slept in the afternoon, woke up, nursed Levi, fed him a bit, and then we are off for a walk, but I couldn't be bothered to change. So just putting on my coat in front, um, putting on my coat on top of my pyjama. Oh, Lakshan and Levi are out. I need to go out now. I will talk to you in a bit. Every day I see miserable people Doing things they hate just to fit in I know it's easier to get along peacefully But have you ever thought about you? This is probably the safest part for me to come because I'm not going to be able to do it.
This is a charm that Lakshmi got me. It says, thank you for being my mum. And then there's a small heart here. It says love and then you on the back. It says the same thing on the back also. Um, I got this for my birthday a couple of years ago. And while I was putting this on last night, Lakshmi said that my entire bracelet is all about Levi. The first charm that I ever got was this one, the one with the plane. Uh, Lakshmi got this for me when I was away traveling for work as like an achievement of a milestone at work he got me that and then after that was everything about levi i never really bought any charm after that this one says mommy this one says it's a boy and then the back has this small hand thing with the blue stone this one um was when levi was born i think this too was my baby shower this one was when levi was born actually got me this and this one I got for myself just to match it, it says see for Jimmy. This was a gift also, it says mother and son, it's like two in one with a heart. And what's the other one? This is the most recent one for Mother's Day. Everything is technically all about him. I started this vlog with clothes and I'm ending this vlog with clothes again. I still haven't finished what I started yesterday morning but I have to do it now. It's already six in the evening. We've finished dinner. We finished, um, you know, going out to the park and everything. Levi is sat here next to me behind this mountain of clothes playing. And I'm just going to fold all of these things that I'm going to keep. And I wanted to come here and talk to you about how Mother's Day was and, you know, my thoughts on it. Remember, I told you about something that happened this morning in church. So, what happened was because it's Mother's Day today, the kids wanted to do something for the mothers, not only for the mothers, for all women, basically, which is something that really touched me. They went one by one. They were carrying posters that they had made. On one side, the poster said, to all grandmothers, we love you. To all, you know, like caring grandmothers, to all amazing aunties, to all loving foster mothers. Um, what else was there? sisters and best friends and there was single mothers also and there was something else so on one side it said these things on the back of it it said we love you so each kid walked up the stage holding one of it in the end Lakshman went up the stage with Levi I didn't know they had already arranged it but apparently one of them from the Sunday school had went to Lakshman one of the teachers that went to Lakshman and asked him if he wouldn't mind taking Levi with with those posters you know and Lakshman was like yeah of course when I saw Lakshman go along with the queue with with, um, with Levi I was so overwhelmed I wanted to take videos and photos but I just didn't bother I wanted to live in that moment this is Levi's first time on the stage you know he was a little bit taken aback he was actually sleepy but Lakshman was keeping him awake intentionally because he already knew this was it but when he was on the stage I was so overwhelmed, I was so emotional because Mother's Day has not been easy for me in the last couple of years, especially uh, probably like, you know, three to four years because we were struggling to have a child and we couldn't and all of that pressure and the questions around me kind of weighed me down so much. Come Mother's Day, it was so difficult when people were coming and pushing me for Mother's Day and they were asking, oh, when are you going to have a child? When is it going to be your turn? I was like, will that ever stop? No, it only stopped after Levi. But when I saw one of the kids carry the poster that said to all amazing aunties, we love you. And I thought that was me. I have been an aunt for so many years now. I have so many nieces and nephews. I adore them. I love them so much. I do everything for them. I spend so much time with them. I am that crazy auntie who matches with my nieces and nephews. I buy clothes the same for them and for me so that I can match with them, you know. I'm that kind of an auntie. Yeah, it, it, it was just difficult for me. And today, Mother's Day, Levi is here. This is my first Mother's Day with him. Last year's Mother's Day, I was pregnant already, but he wasn't born yet, you know. And it was just so calm, so peaceful because I already had him. But then again, I thought, it shouldn't be like that at all. It's very unfair that we pressurize married women to have children in order to acknowledge them as mothers. You don't need to have a child of your own to be a mother. Every woman have motherly nature in them. Every woman have such loving characteristics. You know, you, women are able to love 
children, regardless of whether they are their own or not. And I was like that. I loved all of my nieces and nephews, and it didn't make any difference to me. Just because I didn't have my own child doesn't make me any less of a mother than someone who actually has multiple children or even just one children. And I felt really sad for people who didn't have mothers. And I wanted to tell that to you. I mean, I don't buy into Mother's Day. I don't buy into the commercialization of it and the capitalism of it at all. I dislike celebrating Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. You know, all of these days sort of a thing that people try to make money out of. It's important to acknowledge parents, mothers, fathers, um, you know, Valentine's Day, your partner, so whatever it is, Children's Day and all that. But not just on that one day. Come on, don't do it for social media. Don't do it for pictures sake. Don't don't just say it once a year. You should be doing it all the time. And because it's just a once a year thing, I never do it at all. I didn't want to celebrate Mother's Day when like, you asked me what I wanted. I didn't want, I didn't want gifts. I didn't want anything. I didn't want to go out and eat. I didn't want anything. I just wanted quality time. And yet, obviously we did everything. I got a gift. We went out to eat today. Um, we went to church for Mother's Day. I got a card also. And we took pictures. Yeah, for Mother's Day, we took pictures, but I haven't posted anything yet. But I really want to remember and remind everyone that there are women out there who are mothers regardless of having their own children and that's very important to know and it's unfair to pressurize them it's unfair to label them as non-mothers just because they don't have their own children i was in that boat i was in their shoe many years ago um for many years i was in their shoe and i know how that feels and i really hope that society will change in that aspect you know i had a very sweet memorable mother's day regardless of whether i wanted to do these things or not but what really matters is the thought um and it's a love that people understand that women can show love to other children and also love from the rest of the family who appreciate mothers So that's about it actually. Um I didn't want to go on and on rambling about it. Although I wanted to live in the moment this morning and not take any photos or videos of Levi up on the stage with that poster. I really regret not doing it though. <laughs> I wished I had taken a picture. I could have my phone was right there with me, but I chose not to. And I'm really hoping that someone in church actually took a picture or a video of that and would send it to me. But we'll see what happens with it. But anyway, that was my weekend. Um Sunny weekend, Mother's Day weekend, my first Mother's Day. That was a sweet, memorable, relaxing, chilled weekend. Um, I still got tired because I pulled a lot of things upon my head myself. But other than that, it was really nice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you stayed with me until this very end bit of the video, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a lovely time. And I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye.